normal calcemic hyperparathyroidism. It is quite a mysterious presentation of parathyroid disease, but in fact, it's not so different. I'm Dr. Bob Aklaren from Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. Hyperparathyroidism happens when there is a change in the setting of calcium in your parathyroid glands. So when you're born, genetically, you're set for a certain number, in this case, a 9.0. When you get a mutation in one of the cells in one of the parathyroid glands, that setting is now changed from 9.0 to 11 for that one cell. And so that, that cell tries to get you to a, a higher number. And in time, as it's doing that, the normal parathyroid glands work less and less and less and less. And the abnormal gland that's working hard duplicates, right, and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it's a full-grown tumor hijacking the system. In a setting of normal calcemic hyperparathyroidism, you can think of it this way. If your original setting for calcium is 9.5 and you get a mutation that takes you to 10.5, now you're, the 10.5 is outside of the normal range of calcium that we, the lab tells us, right? Eight, which is in this scenario, 8.5 to 10.2, right? So this 10.5 number is above the range of normal. Right? So we went from 9.5 to 10.5, one unit elevation. Now, if your starting point is 8.5 and you go to 9.5, that's an equal elevation in number. But because the 9.5 is still in the normal range, we call that normal calcemic hyperparathyroidism. And therein lies the problem, not knowing where your starting point is. Because if your starting point is a 9.2 and you go to a 9.5 that's not much of a change right it's a very small change but if your starting point was 8.5 and we went there that's quite a change now if your starting point in a hypercalcemic is 10.0 and you go to 10.5 that's less than what you would get from as compared to someone who's normal calcemic but started at 8.5 and went to 9.5 so we need to gather a lot of information to see the impact of this disease on the person because the numbers may not be telling us the full story. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net.